one of the reasons that I ever started making videos in the first place is the fact that it's a wonderful repository for knowledge, for things that you've done and it's a good way to keep from forgetting things and passing on information, uh, family recipes and such. So I want to show you how I make trail mix and I spend a lot of time in the woods hiking and biking and whatnot and this is what I'm going to show you how to mix is one of my favorite foods to take along. It's packed with energy and it's absolutely delicious. This is not an advertisement. These are the products that I've actually tested, taste tested, and found to be the best for my personal taste. The raisins, it doesn't matter what brand, but raisins to taste, oats, dry, Quaker granola, this stuff is really heavy, 28 ounces and it's maybe four or five bucks. Honey bunches of oats, this is the generic brand with almonds by great value. I like it better than the actual name brand stuff. Dried cranberries and the one last magic ingredient, glazed pecans. Oh my goodness are these delicious. I recommend that you use a peanut butter jar. I love peanut butter so I go through a lot of it. Look for a nice rigid container. And just to show you how cost effective this process is, these delicious little packets are wonderful and they even have glazed walnuts. But you get one point, well let's say 42 and a half grams, which is that much. I'm starting out with the Simply Granola. I'm adding a cup, but let's just call it a part for the recipe. Add to it one part of the cereal. Now we want just over one half of a part of oats. Now I'm making a mixture of cranberries and raisins that will add up to about a half of a part. I like to have about twice as many cranberries as I do raisins. And now for the final ingredient, which really adds the magic to the mix, glazed pecans. With respect to the amount that you should use, this might be a case of the more the merrier, but you could probably overdo it. My, that smell is wonderful. I'm so sorry that you can't smell it. I don't know if that's if this tool is used for this or not, but it looks like it would work. Hey, it works. And my end result is two rather densely packed peanut butter jars filled, which total 314 grams worth. Both jars together had a mass of 389 grams, and then you subtract the tear weight of the plastic, which is just the empty peanut butter jars, and you get a total of 314. And I am ready to go. I hope you found this enjoyable. Give it a try. See ya.